everybody. I know it's been a while. And yeah, I just woke up because I had a late night last night with my cousin and his fiance playing card games with my husband. Um, I'm doing alright. My mom and dad finally went home. Um, Johnson County Mental Health basically dropped me in so many words because um, they said basically I'm special needs, whatever, as far as whatever's going on with me, I don't know. Sounded pretty, they don't feel like they really were helping me anyway. Um, the only person I was seeing was my psychiatrist after that, which is Dr. Amar Wadu, which he's one hard person to get a hold of. So now my question is, since I'm a Christian and I'm wanting to find someone who's a all-in-one counselor, therapist, and psychiatrist, all-in-one, as far as this, to getting better. Um, it's going to take some time getting used to my mom not being here, my dad, because I got very sick last year, on top of uh, not having pneumonia and sepsis afterwards, going through that hard time. It all started in May with my panic anxiety. And then, next thing you know, I get sick in November, toward the middle of November or something, or something like that, with pneumonia and sepsis, and almost died from it. Um, I'm thankful to be here. I just would like to be able to get on with my life in a better, healthier way and be happy and not feel like I have to be on medicine, like my metazapine is 45 milligrams per salon, the class of hemp three times a day. I stopped the Seroquel. Um, I don't like the idea of the weight gain from the metazapine and um, I do feel like at times it causes ag um, agitation and um, but I think, I believe it helped me stand up more for myself. And it has its downfalls. Um, but other than that, I just wanted to give an update that really, how am I going to do if I actually get off the medication and will I go back to what was going on before? That's what I'm frightened of. And I don't like the fact of being here alone. I've always been used to being in a house full of people, family, being close to family and everything, but my video is getting too long and I'm doing this on a tablet, so and this is my update, basically, and I'm also taking medicine for acid reflex, um, it starts with an F, A, M, something, I don't know, it's supposed to, get, I guess, help me with my indigent acid reflex or whatever. Anyways, I hope to be able to have a follow up with my doctor as far as uh, how my thyroid is and stuff and about my primary doctor and get in touch with my psychiatrist and talk to my husband today figure out what steps that we're going to take because I'm terribly frightened as far as cutting back on metazapine though I don't like the weight gain and everything. It's, I've had to, basically, I only have two pants to wear, and things don't fit quite the same, and it's depressing. Um, um, medicine slow sex would be happy to make happy, but at the same time, it makes you gain weight. <laughs> and, um, my doctor, Wadu, tried prescribing something I already, t and switching, something I already been, was taking before, which I don't think was helping. I think mertazapine does help, but I think it does have a downfall to it. But, um, that's all I have to say right now. So as those of you who uh, want to try mertazapine, it's 45 milligrams or whatever dose, be prepared. It does cause weight gain, maybe some agitation, and tiredness and stuff. So, anyways, I can't think exactly all I want to say and try to fit it all in one video, but uh, thanks for listening. Um.
and know it's for those of you who are struggling with panic and anxiety and depression, I, I'll be praying for you that we can get through this and get better, get them out stronger and better, closer to the Lord Jesus. Thanks for watching.